Welcome to the Superior Drummer video tutorial series. The Metal Foundry is an expansion library for the Superior Drummer plugin that can be purchased to greatly expand your available sounds. Please note that the Metal Foundry requires that Superior Drummer is already installed. The Metal Foundry SDX was designed to be the most comprehensive collection of rock and metal drums ever created, covering hard rock to metal from the early blues influenced sound of the late 60s to the specific fragmented metal genres of today's music. It was recorded in the renowned Atlantis Studios in Stockholm, Sweden. Atlantis has been host to artists such as Opeth, ABBA, Green Day, and The Hives, just to name a few. The library was recorded and produced by the original Drum Kit from Hell recording team, including Matthias Eklund, lead sound designer from Toontrack, Frederick Thorndahl of Meshuggah, Daniel Bergstrand from Dugout Studios, and Tomas Haik from Meshuggah. Of course, only the finest equipment was used for the recording, including a vintage Neve console, an incredible sounding live room, and an actual reverb chamber, not to mention the enormous selection of vintage and modern microphones. As far as the drums are concerned, the Metal Foundry offers seven massive kits including drum offerings from Ludwig, Sonar, Tama, DW, Pearl, and WFL. These drums, along with the generous selection of cymbals, comprise the 35 gig library that contains over 300,000 sound files. The Metal Foundry also includes a wide variety of producer presets from various different artists. They can be accessed and selected from the Load Save menu on the Construct page of Superior Drummer. Each one of these presets loads the specific drums, effects, and routing that the producer used for their mix. Here is a quick example of a few presets out of the 33 total included presets in the Metal Foundry SDX. You will notice that when changing presets, Superior Drummer loads any additional samples needed for the preset into RAM. This means that once the samples are loaded into RAM, the Superior Sound Engine can access them instantly, and you will never experience any streaming hard drive errors. The Metal Foundry also includes its own MIDI library, with grooves performed by Dirk Verburen, Gene Hoagland, and Peter Friedlander. Here's a quick example. The MIDI library contains hundreds of grooves ranging from contemporary metal to classic hard rock. In the mixer, you will notice that the Metal Foundry contains close mics for every drum. The snare alone was recorded with five different mics, as well as additional channels including an ambience close, ambience far, mono ambience close, mono ambience far, and the reverb chamber channel. It is important to reiterate the fact that the ambience channels are not cheap impulse reverbs. They are actual sound files that were recorded with the most sought after microphones in the studio itself. As with any superior drummer channel, the levels of every drum and cymbal can be controlled individually in each channel. For example, if you decide that you only want the snare drum to come through the reverb chamber channel, simply open the bleed edit controls and turn on the snare. Here is a quick example of the various ambience channels that are included in the Metal Foundry SDX.
Great care is taken to ensure that TuneTrack sound libraries are as flexible and diverse as possible. Clearly, the Metal Foundry is no exception in that it can be manipulated in a nearly infinite amount of ways to work with your mix. Stay tuned to TuneTrack TV for more.